Today I'm going to show you how I build my guitar template. First thing I'm going to do is go to my I.O. setup and create new input paths for each one of my mic pre's. In my studio I have four GML mic pre's, six Neves, and 11 APIs. So once I've completed that, I'm going to assign each mic pre to the correct input on the right interface. thing I'm going to do is create a new auxiliary channel. And the channel is going to receive input from one of my mic pre's and for channel one it's going to be API number one. So since I prefer to mic my cabs with two microphones, I'm going to duplicate this channel and create a second aux channel and have that input be fed from my Neve number two mic pre. And now I'm going to name them. Since I'm miking a Bogner 4x12, we'll call the first channel Bogner D112, since the mic I'm using is a D112. And the second channel will be Bogner 57, since that's an SM57. So I usually like the signal at 100% for the D112, and down about 70% for the 57. So in order to control these levels but keep the relative 100% 70% balance, I'm going to make a group. I'm just going to call it Bogner Mics and assign that to a specific group. So now when I ride one fader, the second fader will follow. And once you've named the group and assigned it, you can define its attributes. So in other words, how many things can be controlled by the group. In this case, volume, muting, record enable, input monitoring, and soloing should be identical for both channels. So if I mute one channel, the other one will be muted. If I put it in solo, the other one will be soloed. If I pan it, they'll go together. Now with our two aux tracks, we have a way to get the sound in from the mics into the appropriate pre's with our blend, but we don't have an audio track to record it on. So I'm creating a new audio track, and I'm just naming that Bogner because it's the Bogner cab. So in order to get the signal out of the auxes into the audio track, we have to create a new bus path. And I'm going to name this bus Bogner. To indicate it's the Bogner cab. So this bus will be getting the blend of both mics at the level I've set it at. So now I can assign the outputs of the two auxes on the Bogner cab to the Bogner bus, and I can assign the input of the audio track to the Bogner bus as well. So the signal path will follow. Speaker cab, mic one and mic two, into the two mic pre's, into the auxes, then onto the audio track. Then I open the color palette, and I'm going to color code all of them so it'll be easy to find in a session with multiple tracks. In my studio, I'm running four guitar cabs with multiple mics and multiple mic pre's. So I've jumped ahead here, and now you're seeing what my full template looks like. Four cabs, two mics per each, grouped and bust to their appropriate inputs. Mm -hmm. 